There are several ways to set up Kubernetes cluster. As part of this demonstration, we'll see how to set up this cluster on AWS using COPS. So we're going to take one Linux instance and uh, we will install COPS on this Linux, which in turn creates the cluster in Amazon Web Services. So let's go to AWS Management Console and launch one Amazon Linux machine. Let's take T2 Micro. I want to put these instances into default VPC and default subnet. I do want to have a public IP for that. Let's have name. Let me call this one COPS. A security group, let's pick existing security group which allows all traffic. Let's launch this. Let me create new key pair for this. So Kubernetes, download, launch instance. So open that instance. So meanwhile, let me open my uh, GitHub account. This one has all many examples about Kubernetes. Let's close this window. So I have kept readme file in this, which gives a step-by-step -step instructions to uh, set up Kubernetes on Amazon using COPS. Along with that, it also has the other folders which deals with auto scaling, deployment, liveness, readiness props, and so on. We're done with step one. Let's go and create IAM role for EC2. Why we want to assign IAM role for this Linux machine? When I issue command, it's going to launch EC2 instances. It's going to manage Route 53. It's going to create VPC to scaling group. And eventually even it will create a load balancer when we use some service types load balancer. So this Linux machine requires IAM permissions. Let's set up that. Let's go to IAM and create IAM role. EC2 instance is going to use this role. Choose EC2. Permissions, it's always good and recommended to have a specific permissions rather going with administrator access. But to keep this example very simple, I'm selecting admin access. Let me call this one as uh, Hari K8S, create role. After creating role, get back to EC2 instance we created. Name is COPS, right? Go to actions and attach IAM policy. IK8S, apply. Now pick its public IP and do SSH. I have two files here, maybe this is old and this one is newly created. I would like to remove the old one and rename this to kubernetes.pem. Let's rename this file. Okay, unprotected file. Let's change permissions. Change mode 600. 
because a pem files are passwords only that specific user must have permissions giving permissions to the group and others is not accepted i'm using 600 which is six for current user read write and zero zero for my group and others that is no access let's reconnect now we connected so we have i am role attached we should go and install cops execute these commands one by one this command downloads cops binary next step is give execute permissions to this binary Finally, move this binary to user local bin such that this command will be in the path. Okay, now to check it's correctly installed. Try COPS version. The next step is to install kubectl. Kubectl is a client side tool used for interacting with Kubernetes cluster. COPS is to maintain the cluster and kubectl is to interact with the cluster. For example, I want to create a pod, a service, or I want to do a deployment. All that interactions are done using kubectl. Let's install that one by one. So we are downloading binary and Next, we need to add execute permissions. Okay. Move this command to user local bin such that it will be in the path. Fine. We need to create S3 bucket because the Kubernetes cluster state is maintained in S3 bucket. If you are setting up Kubernetes on premise, it uses HCD, which is a distributed key value store. You have to change this bucket name because it cannot be same across different accounts. Let's copy paste this. This bucket is already in use. I will change it. Let me make it Java Home Hari dot in dot K eight S region. I am putting it in AP South one. In your case, this bucket name must be different, which is unique. Step six: We need to create a route fifty three host zone and we need to choose a name and type and so on let's go to route 53 and set up step number six host zones create host zone I'll keep this hurry.in. It's going to be private. Uh, in your case, you can have same name or different name. It should work. Don't keep it public hosted zone. Keep it private. I want this hosted zone to be linked with VPC in Mumbai. That will be with default VPC. And create. Okay, so the route 53 hosted zone is created. The next step is to configure environment variables. I want to permanently store a couple of details, the cluster name and the uh, cluster state store 
where Kubernetes stores the state of our cluster, which is S3 bucket. Let's open this command. Copy this code and make sure you're changing the names accordingly. After that, if statement, copy. Bucket name I gave Java Home Hari dot so on. And uh, keep cluster name similar or same as the private hosted zone we created. So Hari dot in. Close the file after updating it. Run this command because uh, the environment variables added after login will not reflect until we re-login. To avoid re-login, I want to execute this command which dynamically reloads our environment variables. Okay. Step 8, go and create SH key pair which is used by the Kubernetes cluster. Using this key pair, I can SSH into Kubernetes master or node, any node. So hit enter and let this uh, private and public key get created in default location. Step 9 is to create the Kubernetes cluster definition. We are using COPS create cluster state and pointing to this environment variable added in this uh, step node count i want to master size t2 micro node size t2 micro feel free to change the size of master or node based on your requirement i want to spread my nodes across multiple availability zones for keeping my cluster highly available I'm using AP South 1A and 1B. The name of the cluster, which is again stored in this environment variable. DNS is private, even uh, it supports a public DNS. Master count is one. If you want more than one master, make sure you change this. Pick this command and execute on Linux machine. To repeat, this command will only create the definition of cluster, it won't create the cluster itself. In order to create cluster, we need to execute this command, cops update cluster, iPhone, iPhone, yes. Let's clear the screen and run it. This creates the cluster. It's going to take some time. It would take five to 10 minutes to have cluster ready. Even though it says cluster is starting, it is not yet ready. To check the status of your cluster, use COPS validate cluster. So as I told, cluster creation takes some time. It takes around 5 to 10 minutes. So repeatedly check this command and once it is ready, we can start deploying our pods into the cluster. Validation fail doesn't mean we have issues in creating cluster. It keeps failing until the cluster is up and ready with all its components. Let me pause this video and I'll be back once the cluster is up and running. Yeah, it has taken some time and uh, finally the cluster is up and running. So in case if you want to uh, log into the cluster, use this command. In place of java-home.inwrite, make sure you replace your cluster name there. In my case, I have used api.hari.in.
tool, right? So we got into a Kubernetes master. Let me use kubectl and get pods, which returns number of pods running on my cluster. As of now, I didn't deploy any pods into this cluster. We will quickly see how to create a pod onto this cluster and expose it using service, access it from the web browser and close the session. In same GitHub documentation, check pods, use this command. Okay, so I am creating a pod by pointing to a file which is in my GitHub account. Go and check get pods. Yeah, node app is a pod. Its status is uh, container creating. Re check again. Okay. Yeah, it is in running state. Let me access this pod within the cluster using curl. To access that, I need the IP of pod. Keep CTL. Let me describe the pod, which gives IP address of pod. Right. Yeah. Curl. And the port number is 8080. I'm getting response from my pod. By default, pods are not exposed to internet. If you want to expose the pod to internet, we need to create a service object and expose it. You can check that in my other video under Kubernetes playlist.